Hi guys! So we are going to continue working on becoming experts on our characters in our book series. And I wanted to start by asking you guys a question. So let's say that my mom asked me to do the dishes and I threw a temper tantrum and I started throwing my fork across the room. What kind of a person would you say that makes me? Does that make me a nice person? Does it make me a rude person? Does it make me disrespectful? It makes me pretty disrespectful and rude, right? But you might not know that except because my mom talked to me. My mom asked me to do something. But if I was just sitting here reading a book quietly, would you know that I was disrespectful? You wouldn't, right? So we learn a lot about other people by watching the way that they interact. And interact means the way that they talk to other people or the way that they treat other people. And that's how we can tell a lot about our characters too, is we want to look for the way that they talk to other people or the way that they act around other people. So if they keep being mean to their little brother, then we're gonna learn about their character, right? So this week, we are going to be noticing what a character's relationships show. So we want to really pay special attention this week to what our characters are doing when they're talking to other characters in the book. And a great example of our character interactions are Frog and Toad. We've learned a lot about Frog and Toad based on the way that they talk to each other. So we've read a bunch of Frog and Toad stories and we already have some ideas but a lot of the ideas that we have came from how Frog and Toad talked to each other. So there was the story about Frog and Toad and the kite. And in that story, Frog wasn't really doing much. Toad was really the one that was doing, um, what, that was flying the kite. But we didn't, we didn't really learn much about Toad until he started talking to that other character and that other character kept saying, you'll never do it, just give up. And Toad said, oh, you're right. And so we learned that Toad gives up easily. And that's where we got this from because another character told him that he should just give up and he just did. But we wouldn't know that unless Toad had talked to another character. And then Frog in that same story, the kite story, Frog encourages Toad. But we wouldn't know that. We wouldn't know that Frog is very helpful and nice and encouraging unless Toad talked to him. So this week we're going to pay extra special attention to the way that our characters are talking to other characters and the way that they're acting around them. And we want to see if we can get some ideas about our characters based on the way that they're treating other people. So next we are going to read a book and we're going to pay special attention to those parts where the characters are talking to each other.